Glads, we made it to Friday. I'm Spencer Walter. And I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this is your KWHS News. Although college visits are over for the semester, the mill tour is still happening next Tuesday on December 11th from 10 to 11.30 a.m. Students, please be sure to inform your teachers of your scheduled absence for the classes you will miss. Stay in touch with all future college visits by checking out the Counseling Center in person or visiting their website. We will have second semester visits when we return. Seniors, your class t-shirts are now on sale for $15. Because there are limited numbers available, you will want to get one now before they are gone, and so you can wear your shirt for the class photo in January. Stop by the table in the front lobby to get your shirt today. Seniors, the first Herf Jones deadline passed at Thanksgiving, but you will have another opportunity to order class rings, caps, and gowns, and announcements so they arrive before graduation. Herf Jones will be here next Wednesday, December 12th at lunch in the Lower Commons. The second deadline for orders is December 21st. And now we're heading to the sports desk for our Gladiator Sports Update with Kieran Doolittle. Good Friday morning, Glads. I'm Kieran Doolittle, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Congratulations to our men's basketball team, who took on Pueblo South last night and easily took down those ponies. The boys will be hooping it up again tonight against Fountain Fort Carson at 4 p.m. on the road, and then on Saturday, they are headed back to Pueblo for a game against Pueblo Central at noon. We'll have scores for you on Monday. Our Lady Glads are back in Bowers Gym on Tuesday, December 11th, against Fountain Fort Carson at 7 p.m. We'll have scores and highlights for you on Wednesday. Wednesday. You can also catch the ladies on Thursday, December 13th at 3.30 against the Lewis Palmer Rangers at Lewis Palmer. If you haven't been to a game this year, why not get yourself to one and cheer on our teams like Rex's Rowdies do? It could be a great way to jump into finals week. The forensics team is off this week, but we wish them luck when they return to our halls on December 15th for a home meet called Big Questions. In swimming news, our Lady Grizzly Eaters are back in the pool tomorrow, and they have some plans to add a couple of wins to their record at the Pueblo Centennial Multi-Team meet. If you cannot make it to this event, you can catch the ladies a little closer to home next Wednesday when they race against Fountain Fort Carson at 4 p.m. The ladies would really appreciate your support. In wrestling news, the team was in Falcon last night for their dual meet and managed some strong pins. The team will be taking their talents up the highway to Lewis Palmer on Saturday morning at 9 a.m. If you are not able to pin them down there, catch the grapplers on December 12th. That's Wednesday at Lewis Palmer at 6 p.m. The team will be hosting their first home meet on Thursday, December 13th, against the Mitchell Marauders at 6 p.m. and would love to see all of us there to cheer them on. Can we do it? Yes, we can. And now, here's this week's Damon's Dosa of health on sleep habits. Take it away, Mr. Damon. Hi guys, you're on with Damon's Dose of Health, and today's gonna be the effects of lack of sleep and some healthy patterns that you can begin to have in your own life. Short-term effects of lack of sleep include mood changes, difficulty concentrating, and memory problems. These symptoms can lead to disruptions in your sleep cycle, which can lead to long-term effects, including increased risk of heart disease, increased blood pressure, weakening of the immune system, increased weight gain due to stress eating. So what, do you, what are some healthy habits that you can establish? First thing is establishing a good nighttime routine, including a pretty consistent time that you go to bed each night. Also, strive to give yourself seven hours of sleeping time. Make sure that your room is cool, quiet, and relaxed before bed. Only use your bed for sleeping. Try, not, try to avoid sitting on your phone or doing homework. Here's some things to avoid that can help you sleep a little bit better at night. Try turning off your cell phone about an hour before bed. Avoid exposure to bright light. Avoid caffeine consumption in the late afternoon. And if you do find yourself having to take a nap, Try not to sleep for more than 20 or 30 minutes during your nap time. All right, guys, that's Damon's Dose of Health. Hope you all sleep well. Thanks, Mr. Damon. We'll be sure to sleep on that great information. Ladies, if you are interested in playing soccer in the spring, Ms. Sardinia will be holding an informational meeting on Tuesday, December 11th at 3.30 in room 130. If you cannot attend, please see Coach Sardinia for more information and details. That's it for your Friday Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Kieran Ray Doolittle. Have a fantastic weekend. Now, back to the news desk with Spencer and Jeremiah.
Thanks for that update, Kieran. Glads, we have two very important donation collections and fundraisers happening right now that are critical to our community. The first is the WSD3 Toy Drive, and the second is the 180 Club Food Baskets. We keep telling you about them because these two events directly benefit our students and their families, not outsiders. So, if you are able to donate or participate, please do so. Here are some of the fundraisers. The Power Club is having another hat day next Wednesday, December 12th. All proceeds from this fundraiser will go to the WSD3 SD3 toy drive. Wristbands will be available next Monday and Tuesday for $1. Speaking of hat days, if you did not get your wristband for today's hat day, please ask your teacher to allow you to go to the main office after the news so you can buy your wristband. If you have canned goods or non-perishable foods, you can deliver those to Mrs. Hines in the math department to get your wristband. If hats are not your thing but PJs are, get your money ready for pajama day on Friday, December 14th. The Power Club will be sponsoring this fundraiser and will have wristbands for sale next week for one dollar. See Mrs. Sardinia in room 130 for more information. The 180 Club is collecting enough food to provide a holiday meal as well as meals to cover the 18 days we'll be out of school for over 30 of our own gladiator families. Please consider donating foods like the fixings for green bean casserole, potatoes, stuffing, cranberry sauce, gravy, and box desserts. You can also bring in canned soup, ramen noodles, and snack foods like peanut butter and jelly, crackers, and granola bars or pretzels. Other foods you can donate include canned tuna, mac and cheese, microwave popcorn, oatmeal, or cereal. Keep in mind that these donations help our students and their families. If you have donations, bring them to Mr. Sickmiller in room 5 or any other math teacher so the 180 Club can start putting those baskets together. In case you were wondering, you can also donate cash money. We thank you so much for your help with this very important collection. The WSD3 Toy Drive is going on until December 20th. Check out the tree in the front lobby. Our gifts are growing. That's where you bring in your new unwrapped toys for children children of any ages. Teenagers are often overlooked in the donation collect, but they need our love too. Teens would love to receive gift cards to places like Target, Walmart, or Amazon, but you can also donate small electronic items like headphones, pop sockets, or chargers. Board games and DVDs would be great as well. Other ideas include makeup, nail polish, or hats. If you'd like to donate to a teenager but aren't sure what to bring, check in with Mrs. Sardinia in room 130. If you are donating gift cards, please leave them with Mrs. Price or Mr. Shoop in the main office. All gifts will be distributed on December 20th. And now, here's the lunch crew with our lunch menu. Happy Friday! Thanks, Miss Betsy. Glads, please pay your outstanding lunch charges in the cafeteria or go online to add money to your account. NHS continues their Thursday tutoring sessions until the end of the semester. Stop by the library to sign up for an appointment and to pick up your pass. Attention freshmen, finals are just around the corner and these might be a new thing for you so the Link Crew would like to help you get ready. Come to Coco and Cram on December 18th in the Science Hall from 3 to 4.30 to get help with finals. Bring your notes and study guides and enjoy some hot cocoa and cookies as you make your ways to success on finals. Students, the yearbook staff has some important notes they want us to share. Prices for the yearbook are $60 until January 7th. Order your book now by going to the business office or online at yearbookforever.com. Seniors, your mom will be so disappointed, not to mention angry, if your senior information didn't show up in the yearbook. So make some time to check in with Mrs. Kennedy in room 104 during lunch or after school to ensure the staff received your senior quote, photo, and baby ad. And finally, the yearbook staff really would like to feature your whip in their book. Think about how cool it will be to show your own kids someday what you drove to and from school, uphill, both ways, in snow. Contact Bailey Stevenson at this email address to get your car pick in the yearbook. It's that time of the year, and yes, the band is hosting Breakfast with Santa featuring the jolly old elf himself and his missus tomorrow from 8 to noon in the small gym. Bring your family and enjoy a pancake breakfast, music, crafts, and of course, pictures with Santa. Santa's coming to town! Santa! Oh my god! Santa here? I know him! 
I know him. Come get in the holiday spirit. The cost for the fun-filled morning is $4 for adults, $2 for children, with a max of $20 per family with immediate members. In case you haven't realized it yet, final exams are right around the corner. Okay, now that we have your attention, get out your calendar so you can jot down these dates and times. Ready? Here we go. Finals start on Wednesday, December 19th with the 7th hour final. We get to attend all our earlier classes first. On Thursday, we will have finals for 1st, 2nd, and 3rd hours. On Friday, we will be taking finals for 4th, 5th, and 6th hours. Good luck. That's it for our Friday edition, Glads. I'm Spencer Ronald Walter. And I'm Jeremiah Lee Jones. And this was your KWHS News. Have a great weekend.